See, plus the skies have cleared up from the weekend showers, but some of us may be able to see a different kind of shower. Meteors, Chris. And the Ada Aquarius, not one that you probably have heard of that much, because honestly, if you are on social media, you might have said, hey, don't miss this meteor shower. Being honest with you, I think that's more clickbait because oftentimes you'll have an advertised 10 to 15 per hour meteor shower. Well, likely you're only going to see two to five, maybe 10 if you're on top of the mountains, literally on top. This is not really a well known meteor shower, even though uh, the internet may say otherwise, but you'll still be able to see a shooting star or meteor really through May 28th. And how I know my director, Rusty, I swear, always sees a shooting star within a couple of days of the peak of one of these and he didn't see it and that's how underwhelming this one is. So I'm going to go by that. I'm going to call it my rusty meter. 64% is also the fullness of the moon. So that's also going to blur some of those out as well. Here's your meteor shower calendar. The ones to look forward to. So coming up, the next one is going to be in July. The those ones really aren't as impressive either. I'm just actually going to move forward to August. One of my favorites is the Perseid meteor shower. This is claimed as one of the best by NASA. Really, it's number two to the Geminids that happens in December. It's a little bit warmer, so I think it's a little bit more of a pleasant watch. And the Orionids, October 22nd to the 23rd, I would say that's the number three best that we see each and every year, even though the Lyrids are a close second. And going forward, I also want to teach you one more thing. Meteoroid versus meteor versus meteorite. Well, what's a meteor? Well, as long as it's burning in the sky, that is a meteor. Now, their meteoroid versus meteorite, well, you might find a meteorite. So once it actually hits the ground, it's meteorite. Meteoroid is anything that's in outer space. So when you're seeing across the sky, meteor, if you actually find the rock, well, good for you. It could be worth something. That's a meteorite. So quick little meteor terminology there. Now we've all uh, raised our meteor IQ 